it's Holly the Twister Sister and I want to welcome you to another Tutorial Tuesday. This week we're making a really cool king's hat and scepter. I guess it'd be a crown and a scepter. I did these for a perm party that I was at this weekend and uh, they were a big hit. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. So let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do this lesson in two parts. First, I'll show you how to make the hat because that's a little more detailed. Uh, for the hat, I'm going to be using a white 350 and a red 350. And you can use either two or three yellow or gold 260s. I would use gold, but I'm a little low on gold right now. So we're gonna be using yellow or an optional five inch round. This is a little yellow happy face balloon and I like to put those on the king's crown and I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. So we'll do the hat first. That was a really loud clap. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna be using my magic slate to inflate these and I'm excited because I just got a new pump or tank. It's uh, from my local paintball shop. It's a carbon fiber, it holds 4,500 PSI <laughs> and um, first time using it this weekend I'm very happy with it. it holds a lot more air than the ones that came with it so now I don't have to run to the store as often okay anyway that's just a little side note so to make the hat we're gonna start with our white 5 inch or white 350 and we just want to blow this up enough to go right around the head and tie it in a loop so it's like a hat Okay, so I've got my balloon blown up here and I'm just going to measure and that's perfect right where it is. So I'm just going to tie this in a loop right off the bat. And then you can cut off the ends there. Okay, so now take your loop here and just find the halfway point on the other side from the knot and just make a little twist there. So you've got two sausages. And now you can go ahead and grab two yellow 260s or gold or whatever color crown you want and just blow these all the way up. So all the way to the end there. And make it a little bit soft, but we're not gonna really be twisting these balloons too much. So you can just blow them all the way up. Okay, so I'm going to start on the nozzle end of each of these and I'm just going to make a small little bubble and I'm going to lock that into one side of our hat and do the same thing with the other one. Just twist off a small bubble and lock it right on in there. So now we've got this craziness. Now you're going to take Go all the way to the end of your balloon and twist off a, another small bubble. And then you're going to take that balloon and bring it to the other side and also lock it into the other side. So each side is going to have two bubbles here. So I'm going to take this balloon, twist off a small bubble, bring it on the way over to this side and lock that in. So now you've got a hat like this and just find the middle point of your yellow balloons out here and go ahead and twist those together. Okay, so now we have something that kind of looks like a Pope's hat maybe, I don't know. <laughs> okay, set that off to the side for a second and now grab your red 350 and I'm gonna just blow this up a little bit I'm going to make it about as wide as my hat is, so I'm actually going to just put a little more in here. Okay, and tie it off. Squeeze it a little bit, and then you can tie off the other end. And cut off a little bit, so you just have a little bit of a tail on either side there. Now take one side and you're going to wrap it into one side of the hat but you want the red to be on the inside 
so it's on the inside here. And then twist your red balloon about in half. I'm gonna twist mine like right there. And then bring this top part here that we twisted all together, bring that down and just bring your red balloon right over it at the twist and then take the tail and wrap it into the other side. Okay, so now we have something like this starting to look more like a king's crown. Now at this point, you can choose whether you want to use your five inch round happy face if you have it or there's all kinds of five inch rounds, you can use whatever you like or grab another 260 for this little top part. So here's a hat I did with the happy face on top. You can see how that looks. And I'm gonna show you the alternate thing that I like to do for the top of the hat. So just, you can take a scrap for this and blow it up just a little bit. And I'm just gonna pinch off about a two inch bubble and then do two pinch twists. So there's one small bubble, make that a pinch twist, do another small bubble, and make that a pinch twist as well. And then get, this, get them sitting up so they're like this. So it's kind of like a miniature cross, but not really. And then just go ahead and twist off maybe another two or three inch bubble. You can get rid of the rest of that. Cut it off, rip it off, bite it off. Well, don't put it in your mouth, but. All right, so now we have this little thing. And then you can just twist that right into the top part of your crown. And then you have that, and that looks very kingly as well, as far as king hats go. And then for the last bit of this, I'm gonna grab a marker, and I'm just going to add little black dots, like on this one. So it kind of looks like fur, I guess. Is that what it's supposed to be? Like, I don't know. We don't have royalty here in America, so I'm not used to seeing king's crowns. So is this supposed to be like a snow leopard? What, what did they make these crowns out of? Somebody's gotta know. <laughs> okay, so now you have that. And I'm going to anoint myself king of Tutorial Tuesday. <laughs> so that's the king's crown. Um, again, I made a bunch of these this weekend for Purim. If you guys don't know what Purim is, it's a holiday basically celebrating, well, read the book of Esther in your Bible, and it's a holiday celebrating the events that took place during that story. And uh, so there's a king, there's a queen, there are people dressed up as all kinds of things. So I did a lot of king's crowns and scepters. So that's what we're gonna be doing next is the king scepter to go with the crown. So for the scepter, it's super easy. You just need two yellow or gold 260s and a red five inch round. All right, so go ahead and blow both of your 260s all the way up, uh, just make them a little bit soft. So you can do a couple of twists. There's one. I'm gonna do the same exact thing to my other balloon here. Just blow it all the way up, and I'm going to actually tie the ends together. All right, so the king's scepter, it's gonna have like a little ball on top. So we're going to do like, I don't know, that might be a whole foot. <laughs> Just come down a ways and twist your balloons together. And this is actually gonna be the top of our scepter. So go ahead and choose one of your balloons and fold it over a little bit to make a loop on top. And the other balloon that we didn't use to make the loop we're just gonna make a little pinch twist. Let's do a small bubble and make it a pinch twist. Okay, now bring your balloons back down on either side of the little loop we made before. So you've got four bubbles here and just twist them together at the bottom and then use the nozzle down here to kind of wrap it around your balloon a couple times just to keep this top part from coming untwisted. So it'll be nice and secure like this. 
And then all you do for the rest of this is just like a princess wand, I'm gonna pull this one out a little bit to make it even. And we're just going to twist these like a candy cane. Okay, so when I get to the end, I'm just gonna pinch off two small bubbles. And I like to take one bubble and just uh, pull it through like that. And it seems to help it from coming untwisted when the kids are playing with it. So this is a scepter so far, but we need to add our five inch round. So we just want to blow this up a little bit, like that big, and tie it off. And don't worry too much about leaving a short tail. I'm doing a nice long tail there. And I'm going to take my tail and I'm going to twist it here into the bottom of our top part of our scepter. The bottom of the top part. Get that nice and snug around there a couple times. So we've got the ball facing out like this for now. Now what we're going to do is we need to make a sidewall bubble at the very top. So we're going to just pinch off a little tiny bubble. So go ahead and squeeze your balloon out with one hand. With your other hand, you're just going to grab yourself a little bubble, about that big. Okay? While you're holding on to that bubble, grab the top of your scepter and bring it down to that bubble and twist it all together. And then you want to arrange so you have a bubble on one side of the loop and the pinch twist on the other so that your loop is kind of sticking up straight. And you've got the red bubble now in the middle of your scepter and these outside bubbles are kind of curving because we made this one nice and small. So it's forcing everything to kind of collapse a little bit. And if you like, you can bend each of these and give them a little squeeze to give them more pronounced shape there. So that is a quick and simple King Scepter to go with our hat. And now you have some very royal looking kids running around <laughs> wearing crowns and scepters. So that's it for this tutorial. It's pretty simple today, but I made a lot of these this weekend and they were big hits. So I just wanted to share with you guys in case any of y'all have any perm parties or kids ever want you to make a king's crown or scepter. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to show you a couple of awesome pictures from this last week. So first we have Miguel who shared with me his leprechaun hat. So last week's video was the leprechaun and he went ahead and made it and posted a picture on my Facebook page and I think he did an awesome job. So good job Miguel. And I also wanted to show you this really cool video from Philip McCabe who's got his own YouTube channel and he made me a video doing the cartoon mouse video that I put up last week. If you guys want instructions for that, you can find them for sale. Just click on this button over here and you can learn how to make a really awesome cartoon mouse too. And I'd love to see pictures of any of your creations. Just go ahead and post them on my Facebook page. The link is down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you're new around here and you haven't subscribed yet, you might want to go ahead and subscribe. That way you get notified every time I put out a new video. We do new videos every Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday and whenever else I feel like putting something new up. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. Bye! Thank you.